All right, so we'll start as we usually do, taking a moment to lie down in a comfortable place and checking in. Today, let's start by checking in with our minds. Noticing what's going on in your mind today. Notice if there have been any thoughts happening in your mind that you don't need during our time here together. Any thoughts about the past or the future? Any kind of negative self-talk? And then I invite you to take a deep inhale in through your nose, into your diaphragm, and then a long, slow exhale out, releasing any of those thoughts that you don't need. Perhaps it helps to imagine placing them on a cloud and watching the cloud slowly drift away. So yoga is about taking control of the fluctuations of the mind. So our mind goes everywhere all the time. We think about so many things all at once. This time here is an opportunity to quiet the mind and perhaps just focus on the present moment. So I invite you here to continue focusing on your breath, breathing into your diaphragm and long, slow exhales out. And when your mind starts to wander during our practice today, just acknowledge where it has gone. Maybe it goes to a sound, a memory, maybe a thought of some sort. Label it for what it is and come back to your breath. So finding two more rounds of breath. And then making some small movements in your fingers and toes. Perhaps rolling around wrists and ankles. And taking a big stretch if that feels good for you. And then rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And gently making your way up to seated. So any comfortable seated position for you. Uh, let's start here with some torso circles. So maybe you make big circles, little circles, whatever feels good for you in your body. And stay with your breath. And then going in the opposite direction, if you haven't already. Uh, 
All right, and slowly making your way back to center. And let's find a Taylor pendulum swing. So right hand comes to the earth, left palm faces up towards the sky. On your inhale, arm reaches up, keeping the shoulder rolled back and down your spine. And on your exhale, reaching over. So coming over as far as you feel comfortable, as long as both sits bones stay on the earth. And notice if it feels like you are looking down at the earth because you're rotating towards the earth, see if you can open your heart up towards the sky. Once you get there, turning your head wherever it feels the most comfortable. On your next inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, let's come over to the other side. Shoulder rolls back and down your spine. Opening the heart up towards the sky and turning the head wherever it feels right. On your next inhale, coming back to center, let's come over one more time in each direction. Notice where you feel your breath the most in this pose on this side. Inhale, coming back to center, and exhale, coming over to the other side. Perhaps you feel your right side body expanding as you inhale and coming back together as you exhale. On your next inhale, coming back to center, Okay, and from here, let's bring both feet out about mat distance apart. Hands come behind you to support you and then windshield wipering the knees from side to side. So hips may come up off the earth, totally fine. Okay, so one more time in each direction. All right, so from here, we're going to come into a seated figure four. So we'll bring both legs out to begin and then activating the right foot. So slightly curling back the toes and crossing the right ankle over the left thigh. If this is something that doesn't feel comfortable for you, instead bringing your uh, foot to the earth. So whenever you're ready, hands come behind you, sliding your left foot to the earth, staying up nice and tall. If you have your foot on the earth, maybe find a forward fold. Different stretch, but still a good one. <laughs> Finding one more round of breath here. And then gently lowering the left leg, uncrossing the feet and coming over to the other side, activating the left foot, left ankle crosses over the right thigh, right foot to the earth, sitting nice and tall. Checking in with your breath. One more round of breath, and then releasing the right foot. I'm crossing the legs, maybe giving them a good shake. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come into a reverse table, um, and then you have an option if you would like to try a reverse plank. So in our reverse, in our reverse table, feet are um, on the earth about hip distance apart. Knees are bent, and we're going to 
bring our hands to the earth with the fingers pointing towards the front of the mat. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. And whenever you're ready, push your feet into the earth, lift your hips, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes. And then exhale to lower. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So perhaps roll the shoulders out. And then again, hands to the earth, fingers pointing forward, feet push into the earth to lift. Squeeze everything towards center. And then exhale to lower. Let's bring our legs out long in front, activating both feet and find your sits bones here. So when we, we're gonna come into a forward fold. When we do so, keep a slight micro bend in your knees and maybe even push your heels into the earth. It will help your, uh, you find that little bit of a bend in your knees. So we do this to take the pressure off the low back. Okay, so whenever you're ready, inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. And exhale, folding forward with a flat back hinge from your hips. Hands come down wherever is comfortable. So we want to imagine that our heart is reaching towards the toes. One more round of breath here. And then slowly walking your hands back. Okay, so reverse plank, if this feels like it's going to be too difficult for you, you can always come back to that uh, reverse tabletop instead. So fingers point forward, shoulders roll back and down the spine. For the reverse plank, we're going to point our toes, lift the hips. Find your breath. Let's find two more rounds of breath here. Squeeze the inner thighs. And then slowly lowering down towards the earth. <laughs> Toe cramp. <laughs> okay. Shake out the legs. Roll up the arms. All right, let's get going. So we'll come into tabletop, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we'll find some cat-cow rounding your spine, tucking your chin, tucking your tailbone. And then moving in the opposite direction, tailbone points up towards the sky, shoulders roll back and down your spine. And just moving with your own breath, seeing where it's more comfortable to inhale and where it's more comfortable to exhale. All right, whenever you're ready, curling your toes under, sending your hips up and back behind you, downward dog. Shoulders roll back and down your spine. Trying not to lock out your elbows, gripping your fingers into the earth, and as much of a bend in your knees as you need. Softening in your neck. Perhaps you pedal out your feet. Where do you feel your breath in this pose? And allowing your feet to come up towards your hands, coming into a forward fold, or maybe you walk towards the front of your mat into your forward fold. Allowing your upper body to dangle. Perhaps you sway from side to side. Okay, let's come into a halfway lift. Hands come to shins or thighs, flat back here. Draw the belly button in. And exhale to fold. On your inhale, arms come out towards the side, reverse, swan dive up, arms reach up, extended mountain, 
And exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, so finding mountain, feet are hip distance apart or two fist widths. Finding the four corners of your feet, big toe mound, baby toe mound, inner heel, outer heel. So finding equal weight. Squeezing the inner thighs, shoulders roll back and down your spine. On your inhale, reaching up extended mountain, shoulders stay back and down. On your exhale, arms come out to the side, swan diving down into forward fold, as much of a bend in your knees as you need. Inhale, hands to shins or thighs, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. We'll take a big step back here with the right foot. Okay, so your choice, knee can come down to the earth for a low lunge, or you can keep the knee up, uh, right knee. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you rise. Check the shoulders. And then rolling the left hip back, right hip forward, squeeze the thighs towards center. Exhale, hands come down towards the earth. Step back into your plank pose. Shift your weight forward, knees to the earth if they aren't already there. Tuck the elbows, chest and chin follow. Let's find a variation here of baby cobra. So we're going to walk our hands out towards the sides, tenting the fingers on the earth. Elbows come over top of the wrists if you can, as much as you comfortably can. Roll the shoulders back and down the spine. Tops of your feet push into the earth. Lift your heart. If this sucks, <laughs> come on out, come on into a baby cobra hands underneath the shoulders. All right, one more round of breath. And then releasing down towards the earth. Either reverse push up or tabletop. Downward dog. Right foot reaches up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Shifting your weight forward around your spine, knee comes towards your nose and hold for a breath. And then however you can do it, stepping the right foot through, maybe you help the right foot through with your hand. Left knee can come down or stay up. Squeeze to rise. Rolling the right hip back, left hip forward. Find your breath. All right, exhale, hands come down towards the earth. Left foot comes forward to meet the right into a forward fold. On your next inhale, reverse, swan dive up, extended mountain, and exhale, hands to heart center. So again, inhale, extended mountain, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, left foot takes a big step back first. Knee can come down or stay up. Squeeze to rise. Shoulders roll back and down your spine. Checking the front knee, making sure it doesn't go past the ankle and it's in line with the second or third toe. Squaring the hips towards the front of the mat. Who? <laughs> find your balance. Find your breath. On your next exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Step back, come into your plank. Shift your weight forward, come down to the earth. So maybe it's baby cobra, maybe it's full cobra. Shoulders roll back and down your spine. Tuck your elbows in. Slight micro bend in your elbows. Reverse push up or tabletop. Downward dog. All right, left foot reaches up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Shifting your weight forward, knee towards your nose and hold. Round your spine. And then stepping your left foot through, maybe you help it through. Low lunge or high, squeeze to rise. Squaring your hips. 
I need to come up with something like better than squeeze to rise. <laughs> It'll come to me. All right, hands come down to frame your front foot. Right foot steps forward to meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, reverse, swan dive up. Extended mountain and exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, this is where things get fun. Ready? Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back into a plank pose and then into downward dog. Okay. Right foot reaches up towards the sky. Shift your weight forward, allowing your right knee to come towards your left elbow. Come back into your three-legged dog. Shift your weight forward, right knee comes to right elbow. So know that you can do this with left knee on the floor, doing this more like in our, sorry, come back to your three-legged dog, <laughs> doing this more like we would with a balancing cat. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do this again. Shift your weight forward. Knee's going to come towards the left elbow and then step the left foot through. You're going to shift your weight onto your right hand, come onto the inner uh, side of the foot on the left foot. Left hand reaches up towards the sky, fall in triangle. So remember, if we come into a pose that doesn't work for you, feel free to come out, come into a break, or come into a resting pose. Okay. Left hand comes back down towards the earth. We're going to come back into downward dog. Coming into tabletop and into child's pose. Softening your heart down towards the earth. Find your breath. What's going on with your thoughts? Is there anything coming into your mind that you don't need? Those fluctuations of the mind, we have monkey minds. Whatever it is, you don't need it right now. Stay with your breath. Okay, whenever you are ready, come into tabletop. So I'm going to show you real quick on this side. If there's, if you don't feel like you uh, would like to do this from downward dog, you can do it from tabletop. So we're gonna bring what our leg out, and then knee can cross over towards one elbow or the other. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting to cross the leg out. But okay, so we'll come into downward dog or tabletop. We're working on the left side, left foot reaches up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Shift your weight forward to plank, knee to right elbow. Back into your three-legged dog. Shift your weight forward, knee to left elbow. Back into three-legged dog. All right, here we're going to come into fall in triangle. Shift your weight forward, knee comes towards right elbow. Step the left foot through. Pivot on to the inner edge of the right foot. Right hand reaches up towards the sky. One more round of breath here. And then right hand to the earth. Let's step back into downward dog. Tabletop. Child's pose. So perhaps in this child's pose, bringing your hands back by your feet, palms facing up towards the sky.
Finding one more round of breath. And then coming back into your tabletop pose. All right, curl the toes under downward dog. So let's bring the left foot up towards the sky. Shifting your weight forward, sending your left foot through. We're gonna come up to warrior two, so right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat, front heel intersects with the middle of the back. Windmilling your arms up, warrior two. Squaring your hips towards the long edge of the mat. Check your front knee, it's over your ankle in line with your second or third toe. Let's find a reverse warrior. Right hand comes down, left palm turns up, reaching over from your waist, keeping the hips where they are. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. Exhale, turning your toes so your both feet are turning towards the top corners of the mat. Okay, we're going to come into a goddess pose. So sitting down, sending the knees back over the ankles if you can. And in line with the second or third toe as much as you can get them. Slight tuck of your tailbone. So if tailbone points down, we'll find cactus arms. Okay, and then from here, let's bring our hands to our thighs. We're going to find some shoulder dips. So whenever you're ready, turning your torso so that the left shoulder dips down towards center. Inhale, come back to center and exhale over to the other side. And just moving at your own pace with your own breath. All right, one more time in each direction. And then come back to your goddess pose. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms, star pose. Okay. Allowing both hands to come to your hips, turning your feet so that they're um, parallel to the short edge of the mat. And on your exhale, forward fold with a flat back. Hands come to wherever's comfortable. Thigh, shin, a block, the earth. Find a few rounds of breath here. Okay, so from here, walking your hands over towards your right leg. So maybe you start high up, hands come to your thigh, find length in your spine, and then fold forward towards the right leg. Hands come down as far as you feel comfortable. Softening your neck. Soften your shoulders. Still keeping that right foot active. Releasing the side and making your way over towards the left side. Find length in your spine and then fold forward towards the leg. Slowly come back to center. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the toes of our right foot towards that top corner of the mat. Okay, and then we're gonna shift our way over towards that right leg. So coming into a side squat, your side squat may be high, your side squat may be low, or somewhere in between. Okay, find a few rounds of breath here. Then we're going to find some movement. So whenever you're ready, 
pushing that right foot down towards the earth and come over towards the left side. Find a few rounds of breath here. All right, and then again, making your way over towards the right foot, the right side. All right, and then depending on where you are and what you feel like, maybe you find your hands at heart center. Where has your mind gone? Coming back to your breath. Let's make our way over towards the left side. Find whatever variation on this side feels good for you in your body. Deep inhales, long, slow exhales. All right, let's make our way back into a wide-legged forward fold. So both feet are parallel to the sides of the mat and folding towards the earth. Okay, bringing your hands to your hips. On your inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, coming up with a flat back. So we're going to just find warrior two and reverse warrior on the other side. So you're facing backwards. Right foot points towards the short edge of the mat. Left foot is parallel to the other short edge. Find your warrior two, squaring your hips to the side of the mat, the long edge. And we'll find our reverse warrior. Back hand comes down, front palm turns up. Reach up and over, reach from your waist, keeping your hips where they are. Top shoulder rolls back and down your spine. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, we're going to turn our feet so that they are parallel to the sides of the mat and then heel toe feet together. All right, shake out your legs if you need to. So it doesn't matter which way you wanna face here on your mat, we're gonna come into a squat. So we did side squat, now we're gonna come into yogi squat. So in your yogi squat, it will totally depend on your body. If you have any blocks or a blanket and you like to use them, you certainly can. To sit on. Okay, or you can go without. So we're gonna bring our feet so that they are more than hip distance apart. Personally, I feel much better turning toes out, at least a little bit. You're gonna sit your hips down. You're gonna come down as far as you feel comfortable. So maybe this is your yogi squat. Try and place your most of your weight into your feet and not sitting on your prop. You can also send the tailbone down a little bit further. Or maybe you go without props. See if you can bring your hands to heart center. Knee, uh, elbows come inside the knees. So find what feels comfortable here for you uh, as much as your feet need to come out to the sides as your body needs. Okay, so from here, maybe you stay where you are or maybe you find a little bit of a twist. So we'll bring the right hand down. Maybe you find a block if you need the block. Left hand reaches up towards the sky.
Perhaps you find your twist on the other side, left hand down, right hand reaches high. Bringing the right hand back down, we'll find two more rounds of breath in squat. Okay, and then ready, we're gonna come down to the floor. <laughs> so however it feels comfortable to do so, shake out your legs. Okay, ready? We're gonna come back into our squat and then we're gonna play with it a little bit. So crow pose. If you haven't done crow pose before, it's totally okay. And you're going to do just as much as you possibly can, as much as you feel comfortable doing so. So in our crow pose, I personally like to have padding out in front where my head is going to be because then I feel a little bit safer. <laughs> so we're going to come down into our squat once again. So as far as you feel comfortable, maybe you're up here, you can totally start with crow pose up here. So coming into your squat, and then you're going to bring your upper arms, you're gonna bring, sorry, the knee as far up the arms as you can, and you're creating almost kind of like a shelf here with your arms for your legs. Okay, and then you're gonna bring your hands down to the earth, round your spine, pull your belly button in towards your spine, and then shift your weight forward, look forward like a few inches, and maybe you start to lift one foot up off the earth. Maybe the other foot comes up too. <laughs> So sometimes if you think about it, it's harder. <laughs> so let's find a couple more rounds of breath here if you wanna play with it a little more. And then releasing here, let's come to seated and find a bit of a twist. Okay, um, let's do a flag twist. So we'll bring the right leg out, left foot comes in. Finding your sits bones here, find length in your spine. So left hand comes behind you, right hand comes over towards the left knee. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, maybe you turn a little bit more. Where has your mind gone? Can you come back to your breath? Inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale to come back to center. And we'll come over to the other side, left leg long, right foot in. Right hand behind you, left hand to your knee. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, turn. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to come back to center. Let's come into 
Seated butterfly, feet come together, knees apart, find your sits bones once again, keeping your feet active. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. See if you can hinge forward from your hips. And with every exhale, maybe you're able to soften a little bit more, allowing the knees to soften down towards the earth. Maybe you soften the toes. If you don't have any low back issues, perhaps you round your spine, head comes down a little further. Finding one more round of breath. And then slowly coming back up. Let's make our way onto our backs. Okay. I have this feeling like we need a back bend, so let's come into a bridge pose. Feet are going to come to the earth, about hip distance apart, as close to your sits bones as you can comfortably get them. Hands by your sides. Whenever you're ready, push your feet into the earth, lift your hips, squeeze your inner thighs. So perhaps you stay here, or maybe if it's in your body, rolling your shoulders underneath you, clasping your hands, and see if you can send your hands down towards the earth. Deep inhales, long, slow exhales. Whenever you're ready, unrolling your shoulders. If they're under you, slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. And once you come down to the earth, feet come mat distance apart and windshield wipering your knees from side to side. Okay, so we're gonna find one more twist. I'm gonna give you a couple options. So we'll start one way and if it doesn't feel good for you in your body, I can explain a way to come out into a different twist. So let's start left ankle crossing over the right thigh, activate the foot. And then whenever you're ready, uh, let's bring the arms out to the side, palms face up, and allow your legs to drop over towards the right side. See if that left foot will come to the earth. If your body does not want to do this today, maybe you stack the left knee on the right, finding a twist. If your left foot is on the earth and it's in your body, activating the left foot and slowly bringing that foot a little bit closer to your waist if that feels good. You can add a little more if you want, look over towards the left side. And if you've come into this figure four kind of uh, twist, if it's in your body, perhaps the left hand reaches down for the right foot. So cat pulling its tail.
slowing down your breath. Softening around your eyes and in your jaw. One more round of breath. Release your feet if you have them. Slowly rolling back over onto your back. Feet come to the earth. Reposition your back flat on the earth. And we'll come over to the other side. Right ankle crosses over the left thigh. Keep the right foot active and dropping the legs over towards the left side. Again, this could be to your pose or perhaps you prefer to stack knees or maybe there's a different twist that feels good for you in your body. And again, option to pull the right foot closer to your waist. Option to reach down for the left foot. And then soften in your hips. Maybe you look to the right. Finding one more round of breath. And then really seeing your feet if you have them. Come back onto your back, uncross your legs. Is there another pose that your body is asking for before coming into Shavasana or any other final resting pose lying on the floor that feels comfortable for you? Do you have a minute before coming into Shavasana? If there's anything else you need, could be just socks and a blanket. Once you feel ready, coming into your final resting pose and find your breath. Deep inhales, long, slow exhales. And to finish here, I'd like to share a poem with you. I can give you the name of this book later if you would like. Uh, the name of this author. Um, so the poem is Choose. Today I choose to be happy. I choose to let go. I choose to be myself, to love myself, to cherish myself. Today I choose to let go of the people whose company is toxic in my peace of mind. Today I choose to be free. I choose to liberate my soul from the aches it's been through. Today I choose to stay away from closed doors. I choose not to craft a wall around my heart. I choose to decorate it with the lessons I've learned. I choose to paint it with respect and confidence. Today I choose to forgive myself for being too much of myself, for allowing myself to hurt myself. 
Today I choose to embrace my flaws. I choose to accept my mistakes. Today I choose to change. I choose to be better. I choose to move forward. I choose to guard my soul. Today I choose to be brave. I choose to say no when saying yes hurts. Today I choose to be wise. I choose to walk away from places I don't belong. I choose to embrace my time. For all that is timeless is precious. All that is precious is unique. All that is unique is different. And all that is different is beautiful. Today I choose to be beautiful. And gently bringing your awareness back into the room. Perhaps making some small movements in your body. And taking your time here, whenever you are ready, rolling over to one side, any side that's calling for you. And perhaps making your way up to seated. And once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. Taking deep inhales, long, slow exhales. On your inhales, I invite you to inhale self-compassion, remembering the two most important things you did today were show up and breathe. Everything else was practice and exploration. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. That light is a place of peace love, kindness, and compassion. When you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, there is no difference and no distance between us. Together we are the same. We are one. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful evening.